Hi everybody, this is Rick Bailey, president at Southern Oregon University. Thank you for tuning in to our February 2022 video update for our university and our community. There are five quick things that I wanna talk about today. Let's start with strategic listening. A lot of you know that I've spent the last month engaged in some very, very thoughtful conversations with students, with faculty and staff. And I have a lot more of that to do, but I, I do wanna say thank you to all of you for your ideas, for your suggestions, for your recommendations, all of them have been incredibly important. As you know, that was one of the goals in strategic listening is for me to learn from you about what we as a university value so that I can then become a better advocate and, and a better president for all of you. I've also had the good, uh, the, the, the great pleasure of hosting our member of Congress, Congressman Bentz. I've also had the pleasure of, of meeting with Governor Brown, with many of our state legislators, um, and all of those conversations have been wonderful. So my intent with strategic listening is continuing to do so with all of those constituencies. But I also want to take some time in the next few months to do some outreach to communities and, and really to get community stakeholder inputs and their impressions of our university and their ideas for how we can move forward. And by the way, that isn't located, that isn't confined just to Ashland. That also meets Medford, the rest of Jackson County, Josephine County, and really the broader region, because as a university, we, we want to be of service to that, to that greater community. So the strategic listening is going to continue. Next, let's talk about the pandemic. And I know a lot of you have been concerned about how we're gonna move forward, and rightly so. I, I want you to hear it very, very clearly from me. Things are changing pretty rapidly. The, late, at the latest that I've seen is that in the state of Oregon, the number of new cases here has decreased by 66% in the last two weeks. That's fantastic, right? And the hope is that we're gonna continue that trend. Uh, we will be ready if it doesn't, but as that trend continues, the thing that I want you to hear from me is that just as we use science to make decisions and used health and safety as the priority back in March of 2020 when we moved into that new reality, we will also use that same science and common sense and keep health and safety as our priorities as we continue moving from a pandemic to an em endemic stature, meaning that we, as we find a new normal for post-COVID, science and health and safety are going to be the cornerstones of our decision making. I do wanna say a special thank you to Vice President Wolf and a committee that's already forming to look at options about how we're gonna do that. They're already in consultation with the state of Oregon, with the, the federal government, and with Jackson County health officials to make sure that we are, we are getting all of the data that we need to make sound decision making. Next, let's talk about marketplace of ideas. So, and, and this is just me sharing something very personal. I think that there are two places in society that should be safe spaces to have conversations about a variety of topics, even topics about which we are uncomfortable or sometimes disagree about. Um, one of those places uh, is a legislative assembly, right? They're, they're the ones who are really debating policies and laws that, that affect everyone. The other place is a college or university. I think we should be a safe space to have respectful conversations about a wide variety of different topics. By the way, I think that's incredibly important for student success. And what we owe our students is, is a diversity of ideas. Now, is there a limit to that? Yes, let me be very clear. We don't tolerate hate. We don't tolerate prejudice. We don't tolerate intolerance. But we should welcome a variety of opinions. And, and I think that we need to be a place that, that really not only welcomes that dialogue, but celebrates that dialogue. And, th and I think we're gonna work together as we move forward on that. Um, next, let's talk about partnerships and collaborations. In, in my experience, almost every good thing that I can ever point to as a success that I have had as a president in the past happened because we partnered or collaborated with someone else, someone outside the institution. So one of the things, just so you know me, one of the things I think about is who can we partner with to benefit students at SOU? So the ask to all of you is, 
Are there partnerships that we haven't built yet that we should, because I would love to know, and are there partnerships that we currently have but that can be strengthened to really do wonderful things for our students and the university? And I welcome all of those ideas. I know that will be the key for our success moving forward. Let me finish with a, a comment about Black History Month, and I want to share with you one of my favorite quotes of all time. It comes from Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. He said that the arc of the moral universe is long, but it bends toward justice. Now, I am not a scholar of Dr. King's work, but I think that the, that arc doesn't bend toward justice organically. It bends toward justice when people like Dr. King and so many others actually put their shoulder into that arc and moved it, moved it closer to justice. So, so during Black History Month and really throughout the year, the way for us to honor that sacrifice and that action is by being role models ourselves. We can join that effort to push into that arc. We do it by modeling behavior. And that behavior has to start with compassion, love, and respect for all people. When all of us do that, when all of us do that, not just the university, but beyond and our entire community, then we push into that arc and we get ever closer to a more perfect union. On behalf of all of us at Southern Oregon University, our students, our faculty, our staff, our board of trustees, our foundation, donors, alumni, business, government leaders, community partners, all of us, we say thank you for what you do for our students. Thank you for what you do for our university. Thank you for tuning in to this latest monthly video update. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll talk to you soon.